Antisocial Behavior, Wikipedia Article Audio Antisocial behaviors are actions that harm or lack consideration for the well-being of others. Many people also label behavior which is deemed contrary to prevailing norms for social conduct as antisocial behavior. The term is especially used in British English. Antisocial is frequently used, incorrectly, to mean either non-social or unsociable. The words are not synonyms. Development Genetics The American Psychiatric Association, in its Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, diagnoses persistent antisocial behavior as antisocial personality disorder. The World Health Organization includes it in the International Classification of Diseases as Dissocial Personality Disorder. A pattern of persistent antisocial behaviors can also be present in children and adolescents diagnosed with conduct problems, including conduct disorder or oppositional defiant disorder under the DSM-5. Intent and discrimination may determine both pro- and antisocial behavior. Infants may act in seemingly antisocial ways and yet be generally accepted as too young to know the difference before the age of four or five. Berger states that parents should teach their children that emotions need to be regulated, not depressed. Studies have shown that in children between ages 13-14 who bully or show aggressive behavior towards others exhibits antisocial behaviors in their early adulthood. There are strong statistical relationships that shows this significant association between childhood aggressiveness and antisocial behaviors. Analyses saw that 20% of these children who exhibit antisocial behaviors at later ages had court appearances and police contact as a result of their behavior. Many of the studies regarding the media's influence on antisocial behavior have been deemed inconclusive. There has been a correlation found between the number of TV hours watched and amounts of aggressive behavior. A study was conducted that observed the effects of violent and nonviolent films on Belgian and American male juvenile delinquents. The results stated that aggression increased in some measures due to the violent films, although only in those who were naturally high in aggression. Violence, racism, sexism, and other antisocial acts are attributed to things such as genetic predisposition and violence in the home. Some reviews have found strong correlations between aggression and the viewing of violent media, while others find little evidence to support their case. The only unanimously accepted truth regarding antisocial behavior is that parental guidance carries an undoubtedly strong influence, providing children with brief negative evaluations of violent characters helps to reduce violent effects in the individual. A recent genome-wide analysis of antisocial behavior in a large combined sample has shown that a large number of genetic variants of low individual effect play a role in antisocial behavior. Moreover, this study showed that several variants show gender-specific effects on antisocial behavior in males and females. An individual's age at intervention is a strong predictor of the effectiveness of a given treatment. The specific kinds of antisocial behaviors exhibited, as well as the magnitude of those behaviors also impact how effective a treatment is for an individual. Intervention and Treatment Cognitive Behavioral Therapy is a highly effective, evidence-based therapy in relation to antisocial behavior. This type of treatment focuses on changing how individuals think and act in social situations. Individuals with particularly aggressive antisocial behaviors tend to have maladaptive social cognitions, including hostile attribution bias, which lead to negative behavioral outcomes. CBT has been found to be more effective for older children and less effective for younger children. 
Problem solving skills training is a type of CBT that aims to recognize and correct how an individual thinks and consequently behaves in social environments. This training provides steps to assist people in obtaining the skill to be able to evaluate potential solutions to problems occurring outside of therapy and learn how to create positive solutions to avoid physical aggression and resolve conflict. Behavioral Parent Training or Parent Management Training focuses on changing how parents interact with their children and equips them with ways to recognize and change their child's maladaptive behavior in a variety of situations. BPT assumes that certain types of interactions between parents and children may reinforce a child's antisocial behaviors, therefore the aim of BPT is to teach the parent effective skills to better manage and communicate with their child. BPT has been found to be most effective for younger children under the age of 12. Researchers credit the effectiveness of this treatment at younger ages due to the fact that younger children are more reliant on their parents. BPT is used to treat children with conduct problems, but also for children with ADHD. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy In severe cases, medication will be administered to control behavior, however it is not a suitable substitute for therapy. Lithium carbonate has been proven to be effective medication for people with antisocial behavior, reducing aggression, threatening behavior, bullying, fighting and temper outbursts. An antisocial behavior order is a civil order made against a person who has been shown, on the balance of evidence, to have engaged in antisocial behavior. The orders, introduced in the United Kingdom by Prime Minister Tony Blair in 1998, were designed to criminalize minor incidents that would not have warranted prosecution before. The Crime and Disorder Act 1998 defines antisocial behavior as acting in a manner that has caused or was likely to cause harassment, alarm, or distress to one or more persons not of the same household as the perpetrator. There has been debate concerning the vagueness of this definition. Behavioral Parent Training in a survey conducted by University College London during May 2006, the UK was thought by respondents to be Europe's worst country for antisocial behaviour, with 76% believing Britain had a big or moderate problem. Medication Current legislation governing antisocial behavior in the UK is the Antisocial Behavior, Crime and Policing Act 2014 which received royal assent in March 2014 and came into enforcement in October 2014. This replaces tools such as the ASBO with six streamlined tools designed to make it easier to act on antisocial behavior. In the UK Antisocial behaviour can have a negative effect and impact on Australian communities and their perception of safety. The Western Australia Police Force define antisocial behaviour as any behaviour that annoys, irritates, disturbs, or interferes with a person's ability to go about their lawful business. In Australia, many different acts are classed as antisocial behaviour such as misuse of public space, disregard for community safety, disregard for personal well-being, acts directed at people, graffiti, protests, liquor offences, and drunk driving. It has been found that it is very common for Australian adolescents to engage in different levels of antisocial behaviour. A survey was conducted in 1996 in New South Wales, Australia of 441, 234 secondary school students in years 7 to 12 about their involvement in antisocial activities. 38.6% reported intentionally damaging or destroying someone else's property, 
22.8% admitted to having received or selling stolen goods and close to 40% confessed to attacking someone with the idea of hurting them. The Australian community are encouraged to report any behaviour of concern and play a vital role assisting police in reducing antisocial behaviour. One study conducted in 2016 established how perpetrators of antisocial behavior may not actually intend to cause offense. The study examined antisocial behaviors within the Lgdik community on a university campus. The study established how many members felt that other people would often commit antisocial behaviors. However, there was no explicit suggestion of any maliciousness behind these acts. Rather, it was just that the offenders were naive to impact of their behaviour. The Western Australia Police Force uses a three-step strategy to deal with antisocial behaviour. In Australia